Research shows that the vitreous, the clear gel-like area in the eye between the lens and the retina becomes deficient in specific antioxidants over time, causing the collagen fibers inside it to clump together. These clumps called floaters cast shadows on the retina, and floaters can range from annoying to debilitating. And in today's video, we'll explore a new vitamin that claims to help with symptoms. Welcome back to iSchool with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so that you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. Give a little tap on the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. So floaters are a type of entoptic, so entoptic phenomena. And that's a fancy way of saying that you're actually seeing something that exists within your own eye. Our eyes are filled with a fluid called the vitreous. The vitreous is 99% water with 1% protein, which gives it a gel-like consistency. This fluid starts out very gel-like, and over time, it slowly breaks up into a more liquid state. As it does this, it becomes possible for you to actually see this debris within your own eye. But it's not the actual fluid you're seeing. Instead, it's the shadow cast by the vitreous debris onto your retina that you see. And as you move your eye, you may even see the tiny floaters shift and move across your vision. The liquefaction that normally occurs with age causes strands of the vitreous to be noticed, and they'll look like seaweed swaying around as the eye is moved. Many people who have floaters are extremely bothered by them, as I detailed in this video that I'm going to link above. And in the past, if you asked me how to cure floaters, I would have told you about Pars Plana Vitrectomy and YAG Laser as options to break up and or remove floaters. I've even talked about the infamous pineapple or bromelain study in past videos, which I will link above and in the description below. But aside from what we call watchful waiting or just leaving them alone, Pars Plana Vitrectomy and YAG Laser Vitreolysis are the main treatment options available. So Pars Plana Vitrectomy is the definitive treatment for floaters because you're actually taking the fluid out and replacing it. And that's substantiated by beneficial outcomes on objective and subjective measurements. Pars Plana Vitrectomy for floaters, or simply you can call it a floaterectomy, is increasingly being adopted by retinal surgeons in part owing to the advancement in vitro retinal surgical instrumentation and the availability of the evidence regarding the safety of the procedure. Now, YAG laser vitreolysis is described as more of an unconventional treatment because prospective studies assessing the long-term safety of shooting a laser in the eye and efficacy of the procedure are lacking to date. So considering these two sort of laser and surgical options, the potential site-threatening risks associated with those treatment options include retinal detachments, cataract formation or cataract progression, tears in the ret retina, vitreoretinal hemorrhage, worsening of the floaters, which would not be the point, prolonged elevation of your eye pressure, um, open angle glaucoma, and even anesthesia related complications like respiratory depression from retrobulbar block. These are the things that really deter clinicians from recommending these treatments, especially when the desired benefits are not going to significantly outweigh the risks associated with the procedures. Many of you asked me like, why, are, why don't doctors take floaters seriously? Why don't they do these surgeries more often? And the answer to that is in what I just talked about. A lot of times the, the benefits just don't outweigh the risks and there are serious eye complications that can occur. We also know that floaters can have significant negative impact on visual function and vision related quality of life for its sufferers. I've heard that in the comments and it is absolutely true. And it's therefore not surprising that some patients are willing to trade 1.1 years of life for every 10 years of their remaining life to get rid of their floaters. Literally, people are willing to give up years of their life to get rid of floaters. Unfortunately, the conventional treatment mostly offered to all of you watching this video after we've successfully ruled out the possibilities of retinal complications is watchful waiting, in that patients are only monitored after they've either been reassured that their floaters are gonna resolve with time or counseled to adapt to their new visual experience. Floaters 
Unfortunately, though, don't really resolve with time. Contrary to the popular assertion of clinicians, even like myself, I have definitely been known to say this. And this is because the increased fluidity of vitreous um, after it degenerates and the continuous saccadic eye movement, so those little movements that your eyes make every day, which are necessary for performing daily activities, that prevents the opacities from settling inferiorly within the vitreous. So finally, let's talk about a new potential cure or vitamin to help with your floaters. This is the vitamin from Macula Health called Vitreous Health. And there was a specific study called the Flies study that looked at the effectivity of using Vitreous Health to help your floaters. So the Floater Intervention Study or Flies is a registered parallel group, single centered, double blind, randomized, placebo controlled clinical trial. So it's the real deal. And it's designed to investigate the impact of supplementation with an active formulation of anti antioxidant and anti-glycolation micronutrients on visual discomfort experienced by floater sufferers. So in short, if we give patients with symptomatic floaters a formula of antioxidants and anti-glycolation micronutrients, will that help their subjective experience? The inclusion criteria for this study included people with primary floaters, so they could be age-related or related to being very nearsighted in at least one eye. The patients had to be 18 or older, not have cataracts or cataract surgery, not have any neural, developmental, or retinal disease, detachments, um, diabetic retinopathy basically not have other eye issues going on and have a best corrected visual acuity of 2040 or better. There were 61 patients in the study, which is a relatively small sample size, but I was impressed with the study criteria, selection, and the methods they used to qualitatively and quantitatively measure floaters, as well as the symptoms that resulted from them. The main study findings in flies were as follows. So 67% of those patients recognized an improvement in their symptoms within six months. There was a 46% decrease in visual discomfort from their floaters. There was a 47% improvement in daily visual experience, and there was a 9% improvement in contrast sensitivity. So that is being able to see shades of gray better. So vitreous Health has a patented blend of nutrients. It's based on the formulation used in that study, in the flies study, giving the vitreous the nutrition it needs to reduce the severity of floaters. The findings of the study indicate improvements in vision-related quality of life and visual function of patients suffering from floaters after the supplementation with that mix of antioxidative and antiglycolation micronutrients. Notably, these improvements were confirmed by the decrease in vitreous opacity areas in the active group. If you read the study, you can see that there's actually a quantification of floaters. So they were able to look at the vitreous and quantify floaters. If you do want to learn more about vitreous health and read the study, I will make sure to link that in the comments down below. This is a vitamin that's once a day, by the way, I meant to mention that earlier. So that's everything about vitreous health. I know many of you that watch this channel do suffer from floaters. So let me know about your experiences and your questions about floaters and whether or not you've actually tried vitreous health or any other vitamin intended to make floaters better, make sure to comment below. That is it for today's lesson. Class is dismissed and I will see you next time.